Lawmakers in Taiwan will begin reviewing a proposal for putting into law a five-day work week. Under the proposal of the two days off each week, only one would be designated a holiday and allow for employees to receive both overtime pay and comp time off. The other, designated a vacation day, would not include a comp day in addition to overtime. Minority party lawmakers criticized the plan, but Taiwan's labor chief said changes would need to come gradually. Under the proposed version of the five-day workweek law, employees will be allowed to collect overtime pay on a weekly vacation day. But we want a comprehensive law to institute two weekly official holidays, which would decrease employee overwork and reduce their working hours. We've held that the best way to protect workers is with two designated holidays, so that businesses would only end up having their employees come to work under exceptional circumstances, and they would have to provide overtime pay and guarantee compensated vacation time. Labor Minister Guo Fangyu responded to NPP lawmakers' calls for two designated weekly official holidays by saying that the ministry was working toward that ultimate goal. We all have the same goal, which is that in the future there will be a requirement in Taiwan for two designated official holidays per week. However, at this stage we still have to consider giving businesses some space for flexibility. NPP legislator Hong Ziyong also pressed the labor minister on whether part-time faculty at local colleges and universities would get coverage under the Labor Standards Act. The labor and education ministries both indicate that they could accommodate the request, saying that they would make an official announcement revising the status of part-time faculty before the beginning of the new school year in September.